Jason, we're doing it finally. Yeah, it's been a long time. Do you remember the remember when he messaged you first? No, but I can take a look. Wasn't it December, if I recall? Uh, no, the first one he sent us, I think, was yeah, it might have. No, it was before then. I think I was still in the play at that point when you sent me that stuff. Is either yeah, because he held off. We held off for a while to cover Noel. That and Star for... Wars. Oh yeah, no, I think it was November. If yeah, November, know. November twenty third. Oh, that's yes. when Doctor Who. That's, that's right. The Doctor Who anniversary. Yeah. Just gonna bring that up as I always have to. Jeez, it took a year. I mean, if you stop listening to well, us because we year. didn't, we didn't uh, fulfill your request. <laughs> I'm, we're sorry. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're both. Yeah, it's Star Wars took every took over. That's COVID. on me. Well, COVID yeah. was not on me. Yeah, COVID we'll I wouldn't put on your shoulders. Well, I still should have probably. We still could have done it somehow since it's easy to do it nowadays, but... Yeah, we, we could have. We should have done it early. But anyway, we're here now, you well, know. We've got the seasons and we're going to... Uh, what's the release going to be? I think every other episode we'll put yeah. out one of these ones. It's so. Yeah, it's not going to be like Godzilla, but we're certainly wanting to be yeah. in-depth with this. We don't. I don't want to say I don't want to get through this immediately, but I would like to... Yeah. Watch, because oh. from this we're gonna do a launching point to you know do all the DC animated films. That's what I was gonna say. That was one of the reasons we were waiting until we were done with Star Wars because we'd been planning to do the DC animated stuff for quite a yeah. while. So it was actually fortunate, Jason, that you yeah. wanted us to do these because we might. It's a mean, fitting way to start. After this, I mean, we're still open to suggestions, of course. If you have more arcs for us to listen, watch, or we just keep watching. Yeah, Justice or another League, shows I have too. no problem with that. I love Justice League Unlimited as a kid. I watched that one more than this one. So if you have any favorite, yeah, arcs from that, I think I'd say I also watched Justice League Unlimited more than the, than first Justice. I don't remember my. Well, I mean, I do remember stuff about Justice League, but there were some good episodes. I remember. I say that now. Yeah, and I'll also say to everyone else, if anyone has any suggestions for TV pilots, I've been kind of compiling a little list. I of, said this last time. Yeah, superhero related, not necessarily comic related. It doesn't even have oh, to be yeah. superhero related, but if anyone has any, I'll be mentioning one that we're going to do during this episode due, due to a voice, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll get to that, but. Um, so yeah, I guess we should get this started here unless you have anything else you want to say. No, just, uh, yeah, I'm excited to start this again. Um, yeah, we just watched it. But... However, yeah, because I didn't do my homework. <laughs> the way we're going to watch it, though, is a little... Well, not gonna be, it's widely available, as I recall. You got it off of Amazon, correct? Yeah, I bought the Blu-ray off Amazon, yep. I did this three years ago as well. Yeah, and this Blu-ray is kind of stupid. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have any menus. It just play all, yeah, all the time. Yeah, it's identical to the Secret of Nim, uh, Nim's Blu-ray release. Oh, no menus That doesn't that even, it just starts. Yeah, that's There's what no this menu. Did. Yeah. Which is so weird because the DVD had special features, excuse me. Yes, we stopped it immediately after the Bugs Bunny, uh, Warner, Warner Brothers, Brothers opening. Yeah. Logo, excuse me. The timestamp is, uh, one hour, five minutes, and twelve seconds. Yeah. So, <laughs> so if you guys can yeah, maybe get to make one your hour, way to there. <laughs> one hour, oh, five, twelve. Go ahead. <laughs> Actually, how many discs are in that first season? Three, I think. Okay, because three hours, 16. Oh, yeah, no, it's two epi- two an episode. Yeah, two in 42 minutes, okay. Yep. Yeah, some of the arcs, like the first arc was three episodes, but, yeah. but anyway. Yeah, well, I was like a TV pilot, <laughs> anyway. But yeah, get it to timestamp, whatever I said, and uh, hit play in three, two, one, play. Get my headphones on here. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that it starts with this. Welcome party, to uh, Coruscant. Watching uh, John Stewart walking down the street. Oh yeah, I guess they were there begin in the beginning. Never mind. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that that's there. This is my third time watching this one for this, but <laughs> there's a uh, yeah, Groot. There's a predecessor to Groot. <laughs> oh. This is, okay. Yeah, and these guys, I, it's been driving me nuts what they remind me of. Oh, it's Brave Little Toaster, I think. I feel like they remind me of Brave Little Toaster for whatever reason. And when reason. they go to Mars? Yep. Okay. That second one, yep. Was it the second one, or is it the third one? Uh, I think it's the second one when they go to, to space. Okay. I haven't seen that since I was a little kid, Same though, here. man. It's been so long. We'll probably do a re- review of it one day. Yeah, I remember loving that, but... Still at large, you can not find him. Well, maybe it's more that they haven't gone to capture him yet, because they know where That's he true. is. They sent him right right to him. 
Yeah, we got the Manhunters here, and, and uh, as you mentioned, not on this podcast, but before, I have two comics out here. Uh-huh. No Man Escapes the Manhunters. Yes. And one, one of the things I brought out was my favorite Manhunter uh, cover that I've got there. So I was so, going to say, they kind of look similar to that. So it looks like he's fighting something of... Yeah, this... Guest gar- starring Flash. Look looked like they were... Swamp Thing types. Oh, hey, yeah, by Ostrander himself. Yep, Ostrander, yep. I don't know yeah, I love those comics. This is issue eight. If anyone's curious, but uh, yeah, I thought they kind of looked similar to the Manhunter design there a little bit. Now, I'm, I don't remember when the, the I think the robots so much, <laughs> were a Hal Jordan creation. But if you creation, notice, but... he also has the little stick that they carry around. A little baton. Yeah, so I wondered, like, oh, if there, maybe there was some. No, that connection. Manhunter in that series, in the comic series, is that a robot as well, or is that a person? No, a person. It's a person. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, pretty, man, I'm pretty the sure the Manhunters. Full disclosure: I've not read almost any. I did read Blackest Night <laughs> in Blackest. Oh, Night. that's funny. And yeah. I don't. I'm pretty sure that has nothing to do with this. I don't think when Jeff Johns, after his decade-long run of Green Lantern, I don't think he was like, "Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna use like in Blackest Night that Justice League episode." Yeah, and since we talked over this opening theme, I'll, we'll talk about it more the next time it okay, shows up. Fair but. Yeah, I've barely read any Green Lantern at all either. Like I said, I've read a little bit of um, Guy Gardner's stuff, but... And I've got two issues here, but that's it. So is this a... Written by Stan Berkowitz there, who I'll talk about a little bit more, a little bit. Is this an opening in, um... In honor of... Shaft, perhaps? Shaft, yeah. I, I can kind of see it, He got yeah. some, you know, little funky music going on. He's the got the, uh, the turtleneck. Yep, he's got in the shades as well. Turtleneck, he looks like he's wearing a trench coat. He's going on the street. I don't know if he's doing a beat right now, but... I think he's just checking out his old neighborhood. Also, yeah, he also... He across this. Luke Cage-looking guy there as well. Because yeah. Luke Cage has, uh, always wears yellow. Oh, you're talking about with, uh... Yeah, with John. John. there? Yeah. Where's my notes here? I gotta find them. Yeah, go ahead. S- start them off. Talk about we're being in the right place at the right time. Yep. Also, that store clerk certainly has a. Yeah, just immediately up missing the apron. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like. Oh, look at that. Still there. So, it's written by Stan Berkowitz, and I gotta wonder if maybe Jason's a f- big fan of uh, Berkowitz here. Oh, there's a couple other there's episodes. That theme, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's this That's one. Genius. Another one of his picks, A Better World, and then another pick, Only a Dream, are all written by Stan Berkowitz. So, A Better World, that's the Justice Lords episode and The Dream World? Uh, I think The Dream World, yeah, is Only a Dream. That's the, with Dr. Destiny, which is in it, which was another one of those memorable episodes I remember. Yeah, and Stan Berkowitz, he's had a huge career in, in television, especially these animated stuff. Yeah, he worked on, um... The 90s Super, uh, Spider-Man show, mm. New Adventures Batman, Superman series, Batman Beyond, Justice League. He was all like a regular writer on those shows. Any ties to comics, perhaps? Or just comic-based shows? It just looks like shows. He also wrote... He was like a script editor on TJ Hooker for its last season. Really? Okay. And was a regular writer on Superboy as well. It's a long history there. Okay. It's Hawkman, by the way, guys. Although, this probably has been a Hawk yeah. boy at some point. And I'll just say, I'd forgotten about Hawk Girl until I watched this show here. But I had a little bit of a, a, a kid crush on Hawk Girl. Oh, uh, okay. She was fly as hell. <laughs> I don't know if I have a crush on either Wonder Woman or Hawk Girl. Oh, she's fine. Um, I've had other crushes uh, <laughs> as a kid. But not from these guys. I think I looked at them more as like actual like respectable adults. That's fair. Oh yeah, where's uh Oh, here's my answer. Yep. Yeah, so we don't see Wonder Woman or Batman in this whole story, right? We do have a detective on the case, but I don't know if well, Yeah, Hawk Girl there. The type of <laughs> detective that you want. By the way, where are they even going? Uh, like, what continent were they going towards? It didn't yeah, look like that, a recognizable continent to me. Quite right, but... Yeah, this show has some interesting production. Like, yeah. there's lots of background stuff, and then little inserts. Like, there was a broom there that looked like it was this little insert. Yeah. 
It's weird all the different components that they uh, put into this show. <clears throat> Did you look up some of the uh, production notes uh, in in the in not in this, but just for the show itself? In terms of like how they made it? Yeah, the history and. No, not really. Unfortunately, Since maybe they'll do that for the you know, other. It's episodes. the DCAU. It's the MCU before the MCU ever existed. <laughs> I like how they were walking there. Not really. I guess I guess the Marvel animated series, nineties series, technically were came before this. Yeah, yeah. And they got to do Secret Wars, or War, wars. Wow, so tall, man hunters. Oh yeah, here's this piece of music that I don't really like because it yeah, keeps coming back over and over again. The whole oh. episode. I don't think I remember that. Yeah, just it. Once you hear it, it just it's there the whole time. Really fair enough. Oh, come on, John. Damn. Yeah, come on. What are you doing, John? Well, I guess there's one thing I forgot about this, and the show is not very no well known for, is the fight scenes, except for the very last fight scene in the series of Unlimited. No, really. And everybody people... knows the one I'm talking about. No, I, I'm not too sure if I know it. It's but... when Superman fights Darkseid. Like, oh. it is epic. It's when Superman finally lets loose. You're saying that people complain about the fight scenes in the no, show? No, I just remember... No, I'm saying, like, when I was a kid, I guess I don't remember the fight scenes well enough. Damn. Oh, except for one thing. Hot Girl always just attacks with the mace. Yeah, she's definitely Mace Girl. It's very weird. I just realized <laughs> now, she reminds me of Thor, but... You know, not as the god of thunder, but, like... All these know. guys, man, they're going down like little bitches. She has a weapon, <laughs> and... He uses it, but he has more to him than that. Mm. I mean, they both can fly. Yeah, you she know, has wings. She, like, yeah, she's, she's got the wings. She's, she's almost like a glorified, uh, glorified Valkyrie. I like how some of these logos for the stores are like so. <laughs> like, what is this? Uh, it kind of looks a little bit eight bitty. Oh, uh, here he comes, the big blue boy, Blue Scout. Yeah, some of them you can tell are just overlays over the. <laughs> oh yeah, and apparently Bruce Tim doesn't like Superman. Oh really? I yeah. can I can kind of see. Which kind of makes sense why Soup's gets beat up a lot. Now I have no problem with that, but the fact that he like yeah, I've heard he's kind of a puss in this series. Yeah, like, the fact that Maybe he's like puss, in it? pain here, it's like <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, and he does kind of get just pushed around. On and keep in mind, this is post Crisis Superman. Post Crisis Superman could still take like you know tons of stuff. What do you think about the flash effect for his running? Uh. I think God it's dang. pretty decent. I like how they show them running out, just so we know that they're... Yeah, just so they're fine, just for what's about to happen next. Yeah. Oh, thank God they escaped. <laughs> um, would you have... Well, I say, would you have done it differently? I don't know what they were working with at the time, technologically, <laughs> but... No, I think it's a, a okay effect. Okay, that was a weird sense of space, because, like, I don't, it doesn't look like they're in a... or near a gas station whatsoever, and then all of a sudden... Bam, like they're near a gas station and goes boom. You know, a little bit of Luke Cage comics that I've read I was from the, the thing. 2000s. He kind of looked like Luke Cage from that time period. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Superman does some things in this that I'm just like, that's not how you'd act. No, yeah, like he puts the wall here and immediately turning himself in. He was just, maybe that's why he was visiting his old neighborhood because he didn't think he was going to see those people again. Yeah, I can see that saying goodbye. That's sad. Yeah, John, this is definitely a good episode for him. And there's... Showing how uh, morally unassailable this guy is. Yeah, how morally, morally centered he is. And yep. He knows when he's done wrong. Yeah, it's curious he didn't go and turn himself in or anything, but he was just waiting for them to come get him, really. Yeah. It's a little odd, but... Okay, where'd the... Where'd Figured the you might have gone to the Guardians. Oh, they, they, they had them on. I guess so, yeah. They're cops coming there to arrest them, basically. They are cops, you're right. That's a transporter. No, that's not a transporter. That's the Bifrost people. Oh, boy. They really... <laughs> what do you think about Flash's color? Like his costume, or...? Yeah, it's kind of unusual red-looking. An unusual red, you say? Yeah, well, at least this not is, the usual so red, this, I think, Since this is Wally Flash. West, it could stand out... Like, what are you thinking of? No, I just think the color is a little bit darker than I would usually oh, think for Flash. Okay, it's a little crimson. You're right. I think that their red is maybe not quite. What happened to Jurassic One, Two, Three, Four, and are there others? 
Oh, the others are hanging out on the ship. I guess so. They gotta go get ready for their little meeting. Of, Maybe this uh, is Manhunters. where everybody's from. I wonder what this place is. Oh, no. Yeah, here comes the brigade of old creeps. Oh, no. The kids from Acura. <laughs> we represent the Green Lantern Union. Not the Lollipop Guild. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, I know that voice. Isn't that the Mechanist? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting that that's one of the voices he does for this, too. Yeah. Oh, for oh great, every time, every time it says the batteries are low, and they never are. Okay, Let's what see. if that was, like, what if that fruit or... Nope. What you call it? What if that piece of food... That smashed into his face? What cabbage. if they were, uh, what if it was poisonous? Yeah, there's another Rene... Best of us in the... Every season. Season. You mean Odo? Yeah, Odo, yeah. yeah. Galleys. Yeah, that's two Galleys. Little prick. Arcus, and that's it. Yeah, I said Kilowog. He doesn't address the other two. Any, you know what's funny? Whoa, if you didn't see dick. the fangs on uh, Arcus there, yep. you'd almost swear that's Hal Jordan. <laughs> All the hair and the... Okay, aside from the hair and the, the face. Oh, here's an early clue. What's going on with that Manhunter? He's yeah. got a bit of an attitude problem. Now, Cucumber oh, Head robot. and... Oh, for Pete's sakes, what was his name? Again, I swear he was in the movie. Oh, yeah, Howard the Duck there? Not Howard the Duck there. <laughs> no, the fish guy. Yeah, <laughs> no, not quite Howard the Duck. What was his name? I don't remember, but he was voiced by Jeffrey Rush. I think actually even performed by Jeffrey Rush. No, I thought you said that Eggman uh, was like that. Gallius or whatever. Huh? Jeffrey Rush was doing the voice of the little egg-looking guy. No, he was doing the uh, the... the Fish Bird guy? mermaid looking guy. Mm. Yeah, that's a weird alien species. That's in my comic that I brought over here. I brought oh, is over... he in there? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's issue 155, and I only brought it out. I'm going to use it as the cover for this episode nice. just because it says the Brightest Day speech on it. Wait. So you guys will see that. The cover. Wait, how can yeah, we do that? Yeah, right down there. Oh, yeah, in black. Yeah, that. Yeah, I'll just take a picture of it and put it as the picture. Oh, on. I see. Yeah. So you had a pr not problem, but you were a little confused with uh, uh, with how they find him. Oh yeah, because they it's like they immediately. I, I guess isn't that the planet they're looking at right there? Yeah. How'd they pull up the planet right away? Again, they have a detailed star map somewhere. They download. They, they use the space internet. The space internet provides yeah, an but, atlas. But Superman just went over to the computer and did it. It would have been a little bit different if uh, Martian Manhunter had done that instead. That's fair. Unless... But it could have just been cutting for time. Unless you, they would just say, like, oh, yeah, Martian Manhunter just sent, you know... I guess, All he yeah. told yeah. Superman yeah. with telepathy. They only got, like, 22 minutes. You gotta cut. Also, must... <laughs> complaint number 600. <laughs> Superman would have easily heard, you know, these jets incoming. Yeah. Because it's yeah. within an atmosphere, breathable one at least... And John would have like you know sensed the minds of pilots. Yeah, and that but that'll become a problem in episode two when we get to that. But mm -hmm. I at least like the look of this area. I mean, we're doing a flight, you know, a flight fight. Oh, here's that music again. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Yeah, it just keeps coming. But I like this city. It all looks pretty good. I guess I was more paying attention to you know all the action. I like the the background with the horizon. You mean Coruscant? <laughs> I love that. Yeah, he just goes invisible and uh, shows more like up right intangible. At the end. Right to plow right through them. Nice. It's like uh huh. But do they crash and die? They just no. I think they screen. just like you know <laughs> damaged it so that they would have to land. Because as we're about fair. to see, you know, Thor here just yeah, that music. Know, brings the boom. <laughs> yeah, brings the boom. Yep. Oh, this is kind of a funny moment. Yeah, look, she she almost killed them. Yeah, I mean, she said she was a detective, but yeah, she didn't say that she was. Detectives uh, don't usually do the. Yeah, I think people, violence. a lot of people, yeah, not violence, but they don't do a lot of the. Um, oh yeah, you say? like this here with him. Have, I did, yes. The, uh, no, I, I like the fact that I mean, they probably did this in the animated series, but they yeah, mentioned that he actually has super breath, which is nice. Yeah, I never really watched that Superman animated series. Neither did I. I don't, I don't even know if being either Superman the Animated Series or Batman the Animated Series was aired on YTV. I'm pretty sure they played Batman the Animated Series like early in the day and then later in the day okay, too. Okay, because I don't remember any of it. I remember it being on in the mornings. Yeah, I don't remember that. Mm. 
but we might have had different channels. I don't know if it was YTV. No, it's either YTV that airs Static Shock or it's... Oh, yeah, that reminds me. The WB that aired that. Stan Berkowitz also wrote a couple episodes of Static Shock. As I I thought. And I looked at at that show, and I was like, oh, actually, I do remember this show, but I remember not watching it. That's fair. I'd maybe seen an episode or two, but... Yeah. I certainly remember the look of Static, though. Thank you. (laughs) Good to note. Did he ever show up in Justice League Unlimited? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I believe in Unlimited because... Because I was thinking I may have known him from that more than... Because Static actually starts off as a show in its own world. It just happens to be, you know, from the WB. Mm -hmm. And then... Or Cartoon Network, I don't remember which one. And then they actually implement it into the DCAU. Oh, that's cool. Because they didn't do an episode where he guest stars in a Justice League episode. Oh, but it's okay. actually like his episode, but all the Justice League are there. No, first, sorry, first he does, first he, first the Joker shows up. And then after that, uh, then it's a separate episode where he goes to the Watchtower. Oh, oh I love this. Examples. I love this. They're just such dicks. Fuck your trial. We're just coming in. Yeah. I guess they don't know it's a trial, but they're still like, fuck this. Well, it's similar to when the X-Men got beamed into Shi'ar space, right? Or whatever happened in Claremont's run. Yeah, which I've not read any of at all. Yeah. I just remember the image of them all being in that, like, arena slash <laughs> Like, he just court. smashes them down, too. Fuck off. No one's pushing me right now. I'm Superman. Hang on, wait, we got our butts kicked by these guys. Let's not. I, 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 I'll, I'm going to do diplomacy. Yeah, which is nice. These guys are kind of creepy looking. Especially that guy. Well, that's not. That's a lie. That's not going to happen. But to spoil things. Yeah, Flash can't enough. keep his damn mouth shut. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what do you think can't. about the Flash in this? So, this is Wally West. They don't say that, I believe. Oh, here but comes Odo again. Yes, can't who looks like he's wearing a sleeveless. What do you call it? A uh, sleeveless Captain Adam uh, oh, jumpsuit. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Yep. He's got wait, the creepy wait, bug wait, eyes. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. I said, sorry, I said Captain Adam, right? Yep. No, I meant, sorry, Captain Comet. My oh, bad. Captain Comet. You don't even know who that is, do you? I was thinking the Adam from uh, that stupid Justice No, pilot. no. It's first off. A little bit better. First off, that's the Adam, and then there's Captain Adam. Adam, oh. excuse me. And then there's oh, that's uh, funny, then. Captain Comet. So I said I had an issue with the Adam, but it's actually Captain Adam. Yes, it is. Out. Who you know who writes that? Um, no. Nope. Crap, what's his name? Oh, he's the guy who does gargoyles. Greg Wiseman. Greg Wiseman. That's definitely Odo. Oh yeah. Speaking of DS Nine, I feel like his ship really looks like a certain Klingon. Uh, I was gonna ship say that's like in it DS Nine, somewhat like yeah, it's Star fact, Trek looking. I looked up the name of that ship. I'll quickly grab that. The Negvar class. The Negvar class. Klingon eh? bow cruiser. I even put a picture of it on my That mind. looks exactly yeah. like it. Yeah. I'm looking at it right now. Where, where'd you find that image, by the way? Just searched it up or yeah, I, go to the wiki? I, I searched up DS9 Klingon ships. Okay. And I found that. And you're like, hey, actually, I wonder if any of these look like something? Uh, one of them Try to shoot like... your friends when you're, you know... Yeah, shot down to a Oh, transfer. this is what he does. Yep, yeah, right into the fault line. I highly doubt that. I, I highly doubt that it would blow the planet apart. Yeah. Causing... If it what was it a town, done, I could see that. What it could have done is caused a chain reaction of volcanic um, eruptions all over the planet. And so that, down. like... It maybe it hit the core changed. or something like that and did something, but, like, even a Green Lantern or, blast, and, like, depending on how much power he put into that, I Released that. a lot of toxins into the air and killed off all the population. Yeah, you could even say that. They could have done something like that, but it wouldn't have quite worked. Blown the whole the planet plot. up? Like... Yeah. That doesn't Do I have to sense. refer to how many nukes it takes from the death battle <laughs> episode between Goku and Superman to, like, just state that's impossible? <laughs> At least with a Green Lantern ring or a standard Green Lantern blast? Like... I like that, too. She's like, give me five minutes and I'll... Aren't you a detective, by the way? You heard what she said there, right? Like, she's now a detective. We... She'll, like, you know... Yeah, beat the hell out of him until he... Beat the heck out of them. It's like, what she wants. I guess that's how detectives work. But anyway, yeah, I meant to say, like... It's not a good way to get the confession. Yeah, exactly, I know. To be continued. Detectives aren't the ones that usually see the action or go into uh, raids or anything like that. That's the SWAT's 
the job. Producer Bruce Tim. Yep. And I always thought that. I always thought that uh, Paul Dini does a lot of this, but I don't even know if he's an exclusive producer on this. Yeah, and I didn't. Re- I haven't thought about how we're gonna do this. Do we just let it keep playing? Oh I yeah, think? no. This is gonna. Yeah, it's just gonna be called Blackest Night, because it's part one and two. Yeah. So anyone who's like doing this through YouTube, good luck. Cause yeah, pause the video now and you know wait yeah, for the. Well, uh, well, I guess we'll tell you. There. Okay, here's the W. It There's just bugs, stopped black. So press play now. Yeah. Now it's good previously. <laughs> narrator yet yeah, it's clearly. Clearly hot, hot girl. girl. Yeah. Keeps. It sounds like you're saying hot girl. <laughs> I guess that's my accent. I just. <laughs> no, it's me too. Hot girl. It's the way you, yeah. Hawk girl. Doesn't help when there's hawk and dove either. Oh, I saw a dove today. It was oh, yeah. How was, was like, that? Oh, hey, look how pretty. Oh, I did suffocate dove. to death in this, like. Oh, yeah, we live in very smoky heat right times now and right now. Terrible smoke. Yeah, smoky British Columbia instead of sunny. But. Ironically, not ironically, but funny enough, it's off. not from us. Way off. It's not from, uh, it's not from any of our trees. Yeah, it's the Yanks. Yank trees. On one side, on the east coast of North America, there's a hurricane, a brewing, and then on the other side, there's a giant smoke trailer. For, trailer, smoke trail from California, Oregon, and yeah, Washington. And COVID eruptions. All of Cascadia all is basically on fire. Now, okay, talk about this. Go. Oh yeah, this opening theme. It it really makes me think of the old um, openings that they do for Tomb Raider games. If you ever seen any of those. Oh boy. They always have these animatic kind of intros to the story of the game. Yep. And the, it just looks exactly like this. The Whatever kind of 3D animation they're doing. Looks so similar. The backgrounds, too. Especially Wonder Woman. She looks like how Lara Croft That's what, looks. You know what? I could see it. I could Because I remember what Lara Croft looks like back in the day. Oh, yeah. yeah with your tablet, you can now probably find uh, Tomb Raider comics. Oh, yeah, I mean, I've got some, but yeah, okay, I could yeah. get some more. Get the whole collections going. Uh, but as for Flash, like what you said you know, a while ago. Yep. Um, I liked him. I didn't know he was Barry Allen for years. Or, I mean, Wally West for years. Yeah. And I didn't know Barry Allen existed. And as I said to you before, in Superman the Animated Series, there's a, gre- there's a, there's a Flash there as well. No, oh, okay. And I presumed, I guessed maybe to either be Barry Allen or the, or this guy, or Wally West, excuse me. And yeah, I can see your point. He's, Superman's cape looks brighter than yeah. Flash's costume, so yeah, it's just kind of an odd color for him. Yeah, because Wally has red. Yeah, because it's Wally because he has red hair. Whereas, yeah, and what do you think about the more comedic take that they're taking for him? He. He's kind of a little bit more stupid, a little bit more, uh... Wally? Yeah, at uh, least this take in this. In this in this particular episode, or... The first episode, too. He's a little... He, they're playing him a little bit younger, a little bit more... Well, I've always I've always seen Flash in any Justice League as he's the comedic one in Slash. He's no, I guess the younger that's one. Fair. I guess that's fair. You often have to have a younger type character, and, you know, who would the Avengers have in that case... Uh, oh look at him! Maybe Cap only in the in only the uh, in only the uh, man out of time idea. Not really. Oh, no, I guess I could kind of. I mean, you, I do like that Flash does this. Yeah. Somebody trying to step in to protect him. It's now, a I don't know odd. if it's in this one, but no, no, that's right. It's that's that's one of the DC movies. Never mind. I was thinking of just, just something, but no. Oh, sure. <laughs> I don't remember his occupation on Earth. Wally West? Yes. It's not, a. Uh, oh, I was going to say unemployed, but that's not. Unemployed. <laughs> that from the Justice League pilot. Oh, yeah, right. Who was unemployed again? Do you remember? That was Barry Allen. Barry Allen. This is, this is his nephew. Was it? I thought they had Guy Gardner as their Green Lantern. No, wait, no. Barry Allen is... Oh, Flash. the Flash! Yeah, yeah no. I know. Guy Gardner, Guy Gardner is the yeah, Green Lantern yeah. of that series. Yeah, I was getting confused me. there, <laughs> but I was getting confused because I was uh, reading a note that I meant to mention here. Go ahead, man. So Butch Lukic, 
Is that how you say that name? Lukic? Hey. Fuck. <laughs> and Butch Hartman. Yeah, but Butch Lukic. Yeah, that guy, he's just huge on this show. Uh, he directed half the episodes of it. Um, there's a giant mouse. Yeah, there's a giant mouse. <laughs> Back in the cantina. Yeah, and he also directed for all those animated shows. So, big So name. this is a veteran, yeah, there's a veteran cast going on this. This yeah. is basically the magnum opus, or the end that they do. Yes, we'll definitely see more of this writing and directing team in these okay. uh, further episodes. Yeah, Jeff Johns does a few of these as well. Um, oh, okay, that's cool. And what do you call... And so does Greg Berlanti of the Berlanti Universe fan. <laughs> I like this guy with the running to stop the fight. What did, what, did he, what did the bartender say in New Hope? No blades? Or no blood, no blood. Yeah, no blood, yeah, no, no blood. blood. Oof. This fight. Look at that right there. It looked a little like, you know, yeah. a little elastic y, but whatever. This fight in the restaurant makes me think of uh, Red Line, which I don't think you've seen yet. Oh, yeah, right? the, uh, the, the um, racing. Yeah, there's a great movie. fight in a bar in that movie. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, yeah, what was that guy bird, from SpongeBob called? The looking guy. Ned? No. Like that Kilowog just stops him from smashing uh-huh. through. So casually, and the moment he goes right through after I didn't, so, see, didn't see that part. Yeah, I, mean, I don't remember those other guys' names, but yeah, this guy. I remember, when I saw this as a kid, I remember this, you know, ball guy basically. Ugh. And yeah, it's a ridiculous design. It is a ridiculous design. There's some. Uh, don't get me wrong. There's some designs that you can get right in in, uh, in animation, but, but this guy just looks too ridiculous. <laughs> These Green Lanterns are pretty pathetic without their rings. By the way, can I say... Them all around. I don't like the uniforms a little bit. I do like the idea of oh. Green Lanterns. Yes, they have to wear a uniform, but I also like them being able to personalize it in a bit, in a way. That's fair. Kind of yeah. like what the Marines do in Aliens. Where they have their own, like, you know, little quirky keychains or whatnot on there. Yeah, the, the costumes in this look more uniform, but... That is the nice thing about Green Lanterns. I mean, I think the green, I think the one in your comic looks a little. In fact, if you look at this other issue here, look issue that. six of the, I don't know what Green Lantern this is. Let me see. This is issue six, November ninety. Well, this is yeah. That's, yeah, that's all uh, three of them. Yeah, but I was just mean because the difference. Oh in yeah, the costumes. Okay. Especially Guy Gardner. Yeah, see, look. No, <laughs> what am I saying? Like that looks like the one from uh, the pilot. No, it doesn't. Come on! I completely disagree. Okay, maybe sort of. <laughs> His still looks like the other ones. All right. John Stewart's looks pretty different there. Yeah, it does. Another cool a little white in there as well. Is that the Allstate guy? Oh yeah, I can I can totally hear that now. Oh jeez. Okay. Yeah, I think the time you said it before, you'd only said like one line. I didn't hear it, but. Oh, here's your favorite part. Yep. A little, uh, interesting, uh... <laughs> quite a wrong, not ironic, but quite a, uh... Yeah, that is the problem with the police angle of the Green Lanterns. I mean, do they really have jurisdiction just anywhere they go? And... So initially, I thought this was an intergalactic republic slash senate, literally. Mm-hmm. But it turns out it's just, like, the system's, yeah. I guess, cent- central legal system or whatnot. Yeah, just their little government in the Court, Courthouse, excuse me. Yeah, oh, so like, and here they are. Yeah, the big dicks. Oh, yeah, so do they boy. just decide what their jurisdiction is? Yeah. And don't consult So there's anyone? one thing, if there's one thing I, and you know what, I haven't read on them a lot, but not the biggest fans of the Guardians of the Universe. It's kind of curious that Superman's wearing that costume. He doesn't need that. Yeah, especially in Kingdom Come where he just, all he does is wear like a rebreather. And it's been stated that he can hold his breath for a long time and then, like... But he still needs air. Really? Yeah. So I've read tons of Superman comics and he's just flying through space. Yeah. <laughs> what the f***? Again, they, they certainly, like, nerf a lot of the characters down so that, you know, the, yeah, they both the villains of the week can be a menace to them. Super looks, like, thin in that costume. <laughs> but certainly, forgot to mention, that device totally looks something Kirby made. I could see that. In fact, there's a lot of Kirby stuff in this. So, Manhunters look like Kirby. Uh, this device, 
Itruzentron, that or Litruzentron, excuse me, shift. looks like, um, certainly looks like Kirby, and the Manhunters as well look like Kirby, and they also look yeah, like they have the, the same design, too, yeah. almost, in the same uniform that Orion does, who's also later in this, uh, in the Limited. Or he might have even been in, uh, the animated series, because, because Apocalypse shows up in, uh, in the animated series, excuse me. Oh, yeah, I could kind of see how Orion would look like that. Yeah. At least in certain designs. Yes. But, yeah, I guess I'll find out. I'm planning on watching this whole series, so... Yeah, <laughs> same <good>. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, arc I'll girl, just say, I didn't love again. that first arc. The you mean first, the pilot? Yeah, the three-parter that started the series. It was okay. I liked the forming of the Justice League stuff, but the story itself I thought was kind of weak. The question is, how do you get them, like, all to join? Yeah. This story feels a lot better the second part it's almost like the way I would do it, it you'd have to start it's all earth based stuff first and then it gets to aliens well they need to bring in Martian Manhunter so they well he's already on earth alien. that's the thing like in his original story he was already on earth yeah not not in their oh, okay. take but yeah I'm not sure if you remember that first episode that I remember. much but yeah him he basically brought the threat he did Oh, have they? Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's kind of funny that the whole, like, they're questioning this police force's power, and we just watched, uh... Yeah, National Security, Last yeah. week. Yeah, but from the first episode, I was like, oh, is this going to be about, like, pre oh, geez, police brutality? Light. But then, no, it was just a frame job, so... Yeah, it was kind just of, like, oh boy. Maybe that would have been too big an issue to cover for a kid's program in 2020. I think you could do it, but... It's... And it was accidental even in the first place so it's yeah. kind of like which yeah I don't understand why yeah well I mean I mean you could argue that he should maybe he shouldn't have been so wanton boy the mechanist is really voicing almost everybody in this yep he really is yeah I'm curious to see how much more he pops up throughout this series yeah but anyway as I was going on this if there was just like in the MCU and our Marvel comics <laughs> just as uh, Marvel has their own like cosmic universe so does DC and DC doesn't get a lot of like known stuff about them the only you know known thing is Green Lanterns with that and whatnot. I think that's because of films that's true the DC space side of cosmic universe has not really been explored in film except for that terrible Green Lantern film well I just mean comics wise and not many people I don't think I don't I don't think uh, it's as known as Marvel is. That's fair. That's what I mean. Like you, you don't have anything like Annihilation in DC. Which, or, by the way, I forgot to mention when. Oh wait, first, hang on. It's the Legion of Doom headquarters. Yeah, it's a that was, that was a cool say. effect. It yeah. looks good. CGI um, looks kind of strange, but it works. The prisoner next to John when he's you know being held uh, for trial looks like Annihilus. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could see that, yeah. And I said that the first time. Yeah. But I forgot to bring it up before, because we were talking about something. Anyways. <laughs> where was I going with this? Yeah. Yeah, look so at the, him. He's like, hey, look at this. Even though they're good guys, we made the mistake. We have to be held accountable. And I like that. That's... that's Same as the villains. That at least gives him character, which is good. Yep. It's just he's not just, you know, he's not Hal Jordan, or he's not, like, just... He really believes in justice and yep. protecting people. He certainly is, uh, should should be a member of Justice League. Yeah, that's why I gotta feel bad for him, this frame job. I mean, they picked, like, the perfect guy. He yeah, was just ready to go, completely willing. Yeah, this Marine turned architect, or, I think, was it architect then Marine, or just one after the other, I have no idea. Or right, a slight gag. <laughs> we just fixed that, you idiot. <laughs> Big... Blue, blue scout my butt. I'm just kidding. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna yeah, do? Yeah, really. I'm just kidding. I mean, still, they broke, they interrupted the execution, so. Yeah, they don't care about it, any other justice system either. Just like the Green Take, Lanterns. Have at thee with my Majoner. I mean, you Majoner. <laughs> oh, no. Somebody once made a joke of that. Uh. Wow, is that Neptune? Yeah, I get what that. It's like, if, you know, if a Green Lantern came in here in our solar system and blew up Jupiter, yep. 
and it was occupied by people. I mean, first off, that's It'll not the case. We're going to be up. like occupying all the moons orbiting Jupiter. Yep. Euphoria, especially, especially, excuse me, but. Euphoria. Oh, Europa. Europa. Why do I keep saying Euphoria? <laughs> anyway. They just immediately leave the yeah, Guardians. It's like, all right, yeah. we're gonna leave. We're, our job's done here. Anyway. Oh. Yeah, we John still probably Stewart want to trial. Pound his face in. What happened here? It was our what? Was John Stewart about about to about, about to pound his face in? Fuck, yeah. I can't talk. <laughs> Absolutely, he's like. Fair enough, man. I'd be he has a frame up job. I mean, he still should have been a little less emotionally charged. But what do you? What, do you, what can you do? God, I hate these guys, man. They float around. They're so creepy looking. <laughs> like, uh, they're like Yoda from the prequels, and not the, and not obviously the original. I swear they look like those Acura kids. Um, yeah, but they look more like like old people. Those kids <laughs> those still kids look, look a like little like kids. Yeah. <laughs> I sort I sort of see it. Maybe it depends maybe on the kid. The little girl and the bigger kid look more like kids. The, but... the, the wheelchair kid? Or yeah, the wheelchair the kid, yeah. Chair kid, excuse me. I wish I could remember their names, but... I mean, yeah, I don't remember them either. either. Yeah. Takashi? Might have been one of them? Uh, yeah, one of them, yeah. What was the other ones? Don't remember. Okay, so this is a sort of disappointment, but again, I, I don't know if O was in one of those uh, arcs or... Not missions, but one of those issues of yours... This is Oa, and yep. that's not what I thought Oa looks like. Forgot about this. Actually, also we saw so many Guardians in the beginning. Where'd they all go? Not only that, where's the rest of the core? Yeah, really. If <laughs> I now, didn't think about that. If I recall, looking at the wiki, Should Green Lanterns have, have the ability to like you know, almost go through subspace just to get back to Oa. It's almost like a recall focal point or something like that, where they. If Oa was being attacked, you'd think they would, you know, be recalled back to Oa to protect it, so... Mm. Yeah, that's certainly weird, now that you bring it up. Like, what the f***? <laughs> At least have all the Guardians that you had before. I mean... Oh. <laughs> oh, I hate them in there. Little creeps. So, my question is, is this... Does Oa have a no breathable one. atmosphere, or what? Because how is Flash able to breathe? Yeah, Hawkgirl How is too. Hawkgirl able to breathe? Superman, John, Martian Superman, Manor. I think, can breathe in space. I can sort of see John being able to shapeshift his way into adapting his uh, re respiratory system, perhaps. I don't uh, know. He's got that little shield around him. You can see it. With, yeah, because yeah, yeah, with uh, another thing that Green Lantern just have is like a portable air yeah. shield, almost, that well, air adjusts their, their species... Uh, breathing Damn. requirements. Yeah, the Flash, he doesn't look like he should be here in this, in this situation. And I also should say, oh boy, conservation of ninjutsu, ninj ninjutsu guys can kick three of the Justice League's butts and then, like, you know, once yep. there's many of them, it's all, like, they're just cannon fodder. Yeah, it's just, like, alien versus aliens. Yep. Go down like little punks. Boom! That was pretty cool. Damn, man. Again, it's like Transformers the oh, movie. Just, you can goes. show as much violence as you want to machines, but... Phantom so long Menace. as it's, you know, oil, not blood. As long as it's not red, you're fine. So weird. A little battle angel. Oh, dude. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Not the, not the, uh... Oh, about time at least five yeah, of you least, showed up. Yeah, at least a couple of the guys. The guys we saw before. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to say this as well. Where's the constructs? Oh, oh. You're not doing a good a job of being able to, like, that? you know, create anything construct related. Was it one of those Green Lanterns that just destroyed part of the building? Yeah. What the fuck? I know, right? <laughs> eh, we need a new, like, ch change anyways. Yeah, I've wanted that prepared for a while. <laughs> oh, boy. What? <laughs> yeah, here we go. There's the core battery the itself. the climax. Oh, crap. Hang on, this is, again, while John's back. run is introducing the other seven Lantern Corps. Sinestro did have fear for the longest time, but I don't know if... I think it was just him, and there wasn't the Sinestro core yet. And he has that blue-slash-indigo costume. Yeah, I don't know anything about John's run. I just know that the... The... End point of it is Blackest Night, which I have read. Oh, you've only read the end? I only read <laughs> the end. 
I've been again. I've been meaning to read. Uh, That's Rebirth, fair. Yeah, I've heard is, lots of good things. You know what's funny? It's called the Green Lantern Rebirth, and then like, oh, is it from Rebirth? I no, 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 no. no. It. It's called Green Lantern Rebirth. Mm-hmm. But then years later, there's Rebirth. So oh, okay, it's very weird. That is it's, confusing. It's just as weird as when <laughs> he wasn't. It wasn't Rebirth, but what's his name? <laughs> um, when Greg Rucka did a run on Wonder Woman in 06 and then later did the Rebirth, rebirth issues from 2016. I was going to say, did he have a run on Wonder Woman called New 52 and then they made New 52? He didn't do, he didn't do New 52, <laughs> though. No, he did not. No, that was, uh, was it that Brian was, uh, Azzarello? Uh, something? Brian, Brian Azzarello? No. Azzarello. Azzarello I think I say his name, yeah. Yeah, that was a cool run. I read, like, the first issue, but I heard good things. I think that one ended pretty quick, though, like a lot of New 52 books did. Oh, yeah, it did. Except for Green Arrow, which I read. Oh, okay. Pretty good, man. It was by Jeff Lemire, and the art was fantastic. I forget oh, nice. how to say the guy's name. He's Italian, but he's a fantastic art artist. One of my favorite uh, comic book artists now. He's doing that little speech. The only problem he has is that he uh, doesn't only draw like a few faces. Oh, but really? Yeah, this is pretty <laughs> epic. So what do you think about how he ended this year? Just um, sucking up all the power into himself. And fireworks just get released. Which my question was, why didn't they have? Why did they not lose their power or whatnot? Because one of them was clearly floating in the background before. I just don't understand quite how he managed to do that. He just sucks the guy out and then releases him. That's like a thing from somewhere. Yeah, I don't remember where I've seen that from, but I, I really liked his plot with the trial. But I felt like they wrapped up this Manhunter plot. Yeah, and so the Manhunter. Yeah, the Manhunters are machines. So like the spirit of the Manhunter or whatnot came like came out from the you know the the shell or something like that uh, yeah i don't know i don't know. I, I just like it all of a sudden transcend uh, like it takes owen energy or green lantern energy and then like becomes living yeah that's being. that's what i was curious about were they like had they developed like a consciousness of their own yeah that's were a good they... question like, they're not able to discern between good and evil, as the one of the Manhunters said. Does that make the the Justice League killing them a little bit immoral? Because <laughs> they were, like, conscious beings they, uh, that were hive mind? choosing Probably for not, themselves. Uh, and then it just ends, and I thought we would go back to, uh... I thought we would go back to John's hometown, but... Yeah, maybe we'll see it in some of the other episodes. Yeah, but... maybe. I, I do hope so. Yeah, I do think the Manhunter plot was a little bit of the weaker element of that story there. Uh-huh. I wonder it would have if... Been... I'm surprised that they... I guess they can't change... Yeah, I guess they can't change the uh, the credits. But no, I wonder yeah. if you could ever change the credits so that it would say Batman created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wish they did that. They That'd be nice. This, by the way. But... Oh, yeah. It's just gonna keep going. I yeah, forgot about that. Going, yes. <laughs> Damn it. Um, but yeah, I, I liked... I definitely liked that one more than the second one. Uh, yeah, episode. no, first time I've seen it in years, and, yeah, as a more experienced person, immature <laughs> still, but, yeah, there, I, I do have some criticism, I think, it's almost like it could be a three-part s- story, if you, like, maybe that would have been better, ran it a little longer, maybe, yeah, fleshed out that Manhunter plot a little bit more, yeah, you almost devote the whole third episode to that Manhunter plot, yeah, um, because it does seem interesting, it does seem like there's stuff there to chew on. It could have been, yeah, because I don't really understand the Manhunters in that plot at all. You know, they're created by the Guardians temporarily, and then they bring in the Lantern Corps, and they're just like, yeah, we're not going to use you anymore, so you're just going to be like bounty hunters or Yeah, just the, the little slave boys. But they were talking about, oh yeah, how are the Manhunters working with that other folks then? The... the the tribunal they're like they send the man oh yeah to collect and, and, and it's, again initially I was I was confused it's like oh are we doing like an intergalactic republic here yeah that would make it more confusing yeah and I'm like oh okay maybe the guardians just sent them around like here guys just use these guys yeah it's man. almost like we don't know what to do with slash, them like you know here you go we like, got too many some, of them here's some <laughs> um, out of work slash not uh, unusable droids slash robots yeah, mindless like, drones that we created some automatons that aren't needed anymore. That developed go. their own conscious ideas and I mean, it's not battle. like they have Kokoro from Astro Boy, for instance. I mean, that, even then, that's not having a spirit. Or does it? I don't remember. Yeah, so a little bit of a flawed one. Um, I, I wish that they'd focused more on the trial element, but yeah. 
But it was still definitely enjoyable and a good way to start our DC animated retrospective here. DC, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. DC animated retrospective. Yeah, I'm not sure what to... I guess what else to call us. Yeah. I will say this, I'll be upfront with you guys. We'll do more DC stuff than Marvel stuff. It'll be... Oh, well, there's so many... Way, way... I mean, we'll probably do some of the... Maybe some of the Marvel animated stuff. I will, at some point, show you uh, the Ultimate Avengers movie. Well, I mean, I've already... Oh, that'll be cool, yeah. Yeah, uh, which based off the first, you know, the, the first run of Mark Millar's Ultimates. Yeah, definitely expect a ton of DC, and then the Marvel stuff will come in 2028 if the podcast is still going. I mean, that and not... <laughs> but, like... <laughs> I don't want to do any of those films yet. Like I'm not, I'm not that interested. That's why we're gonna wait. But what I'm excited about is to show you all the weird crap because there's so much weird crap that you haven't seen with Marvel. Oh yeah. I that's mean, true. it's just a, a cesspool at, at a certain point. Do you think right? they have more crap than DC does? Uh, do it's, it's hard to say. Yeah. It's really hard to say. I mean, the Justice League of America pilot was just trash in my opinion, but so is Generation X. Nick Fury, Agent oh, of yeah. S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you picked that one up. That's yeah, I nice. own that piece of trash, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to watch that at some point. <laughs> the 90s Captain America movie. There's some really bad... Captain America movies. Oh, yeah, I own those too, yeah. Oh, yeah, Chris boy, Lee's oh, the second boy. One. The Spider-Man 70s Rhett, series. Rep Brown has Captain America. Yeah, Rep Brown, yeah. <laughs> oh. I, anybody know where um, Chris Power Lee's Pack is? Because I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, Power Pack is very difficult to find, yep. I tried to track that down and nothing. Oh. Yeah, so there's, there are going to be ones that we're going to struggle to find, but definitely... And no, I'm not, no, Amazon, I'm not watching The Boys, because everybody else is watching it. Yeah, I watched the first season, I really liked it. I'm going to watch the yeah, second one soon. Yeah, of course, because it's, it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yep. it, it's good, so... So you won't watch it, because it's good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go watch something else instead. <laughs> oh, I never understand that. No, you but, of course not. <laughs> but um, but yeah, hopefully you know Jason will begin to the rest of them. If you have any more suggestions for us, feel free. Maybe after we do the fourth yeah. episode arc first. Oh, and I'll say um, we will be getting to the Smallville stuff, but it'll be oh, further down the line because he had a few Smallville episodes. Oh yeah, I guess so. But you're gonna do the pilot first for that one. Yeah, we'll do the pilot first for that one, but that one will be again a little bit down the line. So that's why I'm saying if you have any other Hopefully suggestions, feel free to toss those Hopefully this year, in. but maybe. Yeah, we'll see. I'm planning on rewatching all of Smallville. Oh, sometime good luck soon. To you, sir. But it's not going to be for a little while. Um, so we do have we do have something in the off. works for you uh, since, I mean, it's not even well, it's soon to be mid September. But, but oh, you want to talk about the horror thing, or should we just save no, that? No, 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 no. <laughs> just there's you know next what next month is. So look forward to that. Yeah, Halloween month. There's going to be some Halloween themed podcasts coming your way soon. Yeah. But and that's all for now, folks. Enjoy. Stay safe and don't choke to death if you're in the Cascadia region with all the smoke. Yeah, don't get swept away in a hurricane to Oz, you know. If you're on the, you know, Kansas is Midwest <laughs> and not on the East Coast, but... Is anything bad happening in Canada land? So we should warn in, our fellow in, countrymen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just keep dragging this on. Uh, there was 400 new cases this past weekend, but that was an accumulation of like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Yeah, fellow countrymen, wear your masks. And Women and all those in between. Yes, well, countrymen, you know, it counts to everyone. It's not just the men. Okay. <laughs> good, good night. <laughs> Morning, afternoon. Yeah, good, okay, we're done. <laughs> good night.
Well, hang on. Don't pause yet because we're still going to do after stuff. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I'll grab the fog. I guess we should get this started. Yeah. It's only about 90 minutes. Is but... this seriously only 90 minutes? I think so. Okay. I'm not proud of that. Forgot to mention it again. I'm just going to say it here since it's the stinger. Is that I know, you know, fire. I know about fire and her, one of her, the unique things about her power set is that her fire is usable and burnable underwater. Hence the green effect. Oh, yeah, I forgot you were talking about yeah. that in the car, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, fire. Sorry. <laughs> the fog. The fog, yeah.